yeah so shubham i guess we can proceed out with the session everyone is here active with us and okay. we can start off okay so hello everyone so my name is shubham gupta and i'm a certified teacher and musician from various examination boards such as like abrcm london rock school london music arts and cultural council and prag sangeet samiti and from various other uh, colleges and universities throughout the globe so i'm learning music from last around like 8 to 10 years and i'm teaching music from around like 5 6 years so i'm here to share my experience what all things are there i am here to guide you like uh, what all things are there that you need to learn to complete the basics of guitar right so uh, i hope you all are having guitar is there anyone who don't have guitar just write down yes and no in the chat box so uh, we'll use chat box lot of times so just okay no no two of three three are not having those who are having just write down yes 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 okay yes 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 i have no no yes yes okay so most of you are having so around like 80% 90% of you are having that's great and if uh, you don't have any guitar so basically don't worry about it i'll guide you like what you can purchase uh, and where from you can buy so i'll guide you on that also those who are having that's really great so uh i want everyone on the cameras first of all see i i don't like to teach a black screen i want to see everyone on the cameras come on everyone you are having such a good faces so just come on to the cameras be there on the cameras okay yes now i can see varun abhishek i can see shan i can see gorav i can see jj jj i can see uh Mrunal, I can see Soha, I can see Salman, I can see Shikha, I can see Abhishek Pandey. Yes, everyone on the cameras, come on fast. Yes, I can see Girish, I can see V K. Everyone on the cameras? Yes, good. Now it seems good. So I'm taking sessions back to back, back to back. I love to see your faces. I love to see new students coming to me. Okay, nice. So let's start the session. So. see the one fact that i need to tell you guys like nobody in the world can teach you the whole guitar in just 30 40 minutes of time so don't expect like you will be learning full guitar in just 30 40 minutes that's next to impossible you all know right but yes i'll guide you like what things you need to learn what are the steps what are the basics of guitar so that like uh, you can take those steps you can take those guidance further and you can learn the whole basics of guitar within just 2 3 months of time so like other teachers i don't say like you need to wait for one year two years three years of time then you can just master the guitar not at all you just require 2 3 months of learning 2 3 months of guidance and practice then you can just master the basics of guitar right so but what do you have to follow in those 2 3 months that i'll be guiding in another like 20 30 minutes so i don't guide like just go to youtube or google just start learning from there so that's not the correct place to learn that is a correct place to show what you already learned to display to uh, to have a community with you but that is not the correct place to learn the things right so let's start the session so basically i think everyone is comfortable in english that's why i'm uh, taking the session in english some of you are asking for hindi so because we are from different different parts of india i think english is comfortable for everyone right so uh, just keep yourself on mute and be there on the cameras and enjoy the session and if you have any doubts any queries you can just write down in the chat box works so uh, my first question from everyone is like what is music to you you are here to learn the music so what is music to you just write one word in the chat box like what do you feel what is music to you i don't want any defines just one word what is music to you okay for saurav it's it's life emotion life okay emotions stress buster what else peace peace okay feelings great world oh nice music is a world way of expressing myself emotions express our sound jeene ka zariya oh my god <laughs> okay what else anything else motivation great so okay uh, entertainment uh, my life emotion feelings way to express my feelings great you all know you are you have given wonderful answers like for all of us music for some of us like music is a healer stress buster or like emotion feelings life entertainment everything so yes but if i say in technical terms like we can't say these things if someone asks like what is music so in the technical terms if i say so music is a combination of three fine arts so see guys like uh, i already told you like 
this is very introductory session i am starting from the complete beginning very beginning those who haven't learned anywhere those who are like very beginners even don't have guitars so i'm starting from very beginning so uh, from the next class onward i'll be using like my proper notepad and everything i'll be writing i'll be providing you the pdf sheets and all the notes and everything but for today's class i'm not using anything because it's very time consuming so if i use everything i'll just write the things then i can't give the full overview of guitar within just 30 40 minutes right so for today's class i'm not using my notepads and sheets or anything just i'm telling you orally just thoroughly like what all things are there but if you want to write some things if you want to make some pointers you can just write okay so like music is a combination of three fine arts number one is singing number two is playing instrument and number three is dancing so music is a combination of three fine arts singing playing instrument and dancing so like uh, some of you have heard in hindi like gayan vadan and nritya so these three terms are there gayan singing vadan playing instrument and nritya dancing when you combine these three fine arts that gives us music so if you see a music video on a youtube or instagram anywhere there are three things like one a singer is singing a song second musicians are playing the music third one there are actors or dan dancers those who are like picturizing that song like reels and a lot of things are there nowadays like music is there and actors dancers are picturizing that song right so music is a combination of three fine arts singing playing instrument and dancing we are here to learn the second fine art that is playing instrument and under that section of playing instrument we have a lot of instruments like uh, you can see some instrument like guitars are there like piano guitars cello ukulele we have violins we have drums a lot of instruments are there right so under the guitar section we have a lot of guitars now so can you guys name some guitars in the chat box guitar types how many guitars you know like some guitar types just name some guitars let's see how many types you already know okay electric we got one name electric acoustic okay two anything else so just don't repeat just new names okay classic classical bass okay four we got semi acoustic we got okay okay so we got four names five names so electric acoustic semi acoustic classical and bass okay cool so uh, even if you don't have any guitar you can just take the knowledge and i'll guide you what guitars you can buy at the end okay so just write a question in the chat box whatever you want to ask okay so mainly three types of guitars are acoustic number one is acoustic number two semi acoustic or you can also call it as electro acoustic both are the same thing so semi acoustic or electro acoustic number three is electric but guitars are endless we have jazz guitar we have 12 string guitar we have classical guitar nylon string guitar hawaiian guitar spanish guitar lot of guitars are there guitars are like endless so i can't say like just three guitars four guitars five guitars they are endless right so what you can do like just mainly three types of guitars are there acoustic semi acoustic and electric i'm telling you the difference between these three types of guitars the major three types okay so if you see this guitar so this is basically like acoustic guitar if your guitar is having nothing you can't connect it from a wire or anything then your guitar is acoustic guitar so acoustic guitar means you can just play it normally like you can just start playing so you can play it normally without connecting it to wire or it doesn't need any electricity right but now if your guitar is having this port if your guitar is having any port to connect it from a wire if there is any just circle just port to connect it from a wire or there is a equalizer then your guitar is semi acoustic or electro acoustic both are the same thing so what is the difference now you can play it normally also like i'm playing and you can connect it from a wire you can plug that wire in a speaker or amplifier then you can also play it right so that works with both so semi acoustic works with acoustically also and like you can connect it from a wire then you can also play that's why i prefer like semi acoustic guitars because it works with both if i want to play in car or somewhere where i don't have any electricity i can play or if i want to perform somewhere in any show or any event then also i can plug a wire and i can play that's why semi acoustics are best then number 3 electric guitars so these are the electrics okay so in electric guitars like these are very slim and body made up of metal very different guitar uh, from the acoustic one and it looks cool like a oh, very slim guitar and uh, like made up of metal but biggest dis disadvantage is you can't play this guitar without connecting it 
right? So if I'm playing this guitar, you can't hear this guitar right now. I have to turn on my amp. So these are known as guitar amps. You can see behind me. So there is a guitar amp. My wire is going to this wire is going to that guitar amp. Then when I turn on that amp, then you can hear this guitar. Now you can hear this guitar clearly. So because if I turn down volume to zero, now I'm still playing, but you can't hear. So it's basically a electronic device. You can say electronic instrument, right? So now let's see. Now I already told you about the music, like what is music? What are the types of guitars and like how they are different to each other? So let's come to the acoustic guitar part. Like what all things are there in acoustic guitar, right? So most of you are having acoustic guitar, right? All of you are having acoustic or semi acoustic guitar. And even if you don't have, uh, I mean, I don't have guitar. So what kind of guitar shall I purchase along which price range? Please tell me in brief. Okay, I'll take this question. So uh, I can understand like a lot of you are having the same question, like what guitar to purchase? Okay. So those who are having guitar, so that's good enough. If you're having any guitar, anything. So don't think like sir is suggesting this guitar. This is good. This is bad. So my guitar is very bad. So don't think that. So any guitar for the beginners is very good. Anything you are having that is uh, very good. Okay. But those who are thinking to buy. So I'm suggesting don't buy these two, three brands like Gibson, G I V S O N. Jores and intern. I can understand like some of you are having these guitars, but don't worry about it as I told you. So GIVSO and Gibson, Jores and intern. Don't don't buy these like two, three brands from online platforms which Amazon and Flipkart is selling because these are not that much good guitar in that uh, budget range. So if you're having a budget between 2000 to 5000 rupees, then just go to the market, ask the shopkeeper to show you some guitars, check the wood quality, check the size, check the uh, like quality of the guitar and check the sound quality. If you don't know how to play uh, till now, you don't know like how to play. So just ask a shopkeeper to play some uh, guitars for you and you can hear the difference between like two, three guitars. So check the sound quality, check the wood quality, then buy. There is no brand in 2000, 3000, 4000 rupees. So just go to the market, then buy the guitar because they are all Chinese brands like Jaurez, Intern, everything is like Chinese brand kind of thing. So I don't suggest any name, just go to market, check the wood quality and then buy. If you are having a budget of 6,000, 7,000, that's the starting budget of a branded guitar, 7,000 rupees. If you're having that budget, then I'm telling you Yamaha F280. So model is Yamaha F280 that cost you around 7,000 that you can buy. Okay. Again, I'm repeating Yamaha F280. That's the model around 7,000. That is an acoustic guitar. Next model is around 10,000 Yamaha F310. Yamaha F310. That is around 10,000, 11,000, depending on your locations and the states. Then next one, this is also acoustic guitar. Next one is semi acoustic guitar that comes in around like 14 to 15,000. That is Yamaha FX310. FX310, Yamaha FX310, that is a semi acoustic guitar. Again, I'm repeating around 7,000, that is Yamaha F3, F280, that is like uh, F280 is acoustic guitar. Then around 10,000, that is Yamaha F310, that is again acoustic guitar. Then Yamaha FX310, that is semi acoustic guitar, guitar around like uh, 14, 15, 16K range. You can check the exact price on the Amazon or the shops. So if you are buying a branded guitar, you can buy online and offline because both are the same. There is no margin difference. Cost is also same and the quality is also same because you are buying a brand. But if you are buying a Chinese guitar, local guitars, then just go to the store, then buy. Don't buy online. Okay. And you have, if you are having like Jores in turn and Gibson, it's totally fine. Because why I'm saying like don't buy these brands, these are properly not food. It's a mixture of plastic and wood and lot of materials. Okay, so that's not really good for a guitar. Even like Gibson GIBSON is a duplicate brand of GIBSON. So original brand is GIBSON, Gibson. That starts from like 15,000, 20,000. That's the budget of that guitar. But GIVSON, there is a difference in just V and B. 
if it's b that's the original one if it's v then that's the fake one so that's a fake indian brand you can say so gibson don't buy gibson you have to buy gibson but don't buy gibson because it's too costly for the beginners like it starts from like 15000 20000 but gibson gibson you can buy from a store in just 15 under 2000 rupees right so that's the difference in the guitars i hope you understand very well i'm a singer i want to record uh, in home with a sound card and want to perform in live with the amp which semi acoustic guitar is best for my budget in 20000 to 15000 you can buy a capma that is next level than the yamaha so if you are having a budget of around 20000 that is capma the guitar which i'm having it starts from like 15000 20000 30000 so this is a us based brand capma this is the logo you can see on the head so this is the capma this is next level than the yamaha so you can buy this guitar it's basically it's very good brand it's a mogni guitar so my model is mogni all mogni this model is mogni Mo what is mogni like mogni wood is there so this is not a polish this is directly a wood so mogni wood is there so you can buy this guitar this is very good guitar and this is a semi acoustic guitar with a tuner so it's having tuner phase eq everything it's there on the guitar right so you can buy this guitar okay if you are talking about guitar let's start the guitar parts model name sir please oh model name of this guitar uh edc e w a m this is the model that i am having you can find out capma online everything is there it's a brand so you can find out any model on the website capma us website is okay so uh let's move further i think we have talked lot about the guitars those who are having they are thinking oh what sir is talking about now let's move further so now i think all of you are beginners is there anyone who have learned previously anyone who know how to play scales chords strummings okay one anyone else Two, three, four, three. Okay, that's no. So three of them are here. Those who have learned. Okay, so you guys know how to play chords, scales, everything, right? Okay, okay. So just two, three are there. Okay, I can understand like uh, some chords. Okay, great. So uh, let's start the guitar. So I'm taking from the beginning. So those who have learned, don't think like we already know these things. at the end of the session maybe you are having something new with you like okay i don't know this thing but now i know so uh, because i'm starting from the very beginning because most of them have never learned have never played guitar they are learning for the first time so i'm starting from the very beginning so first of all i'm introducing you with the guitar parts so you can just uh, keep in mind some parts thoroughly from the next class i'll make a proper diagram and label all the things for now like this is the head this part the top part of guitar is known as head then tuning keys three on the right three on the left so we have tuning keys so this is known as head tuning keys then this white part is known as nut then after this head like a human body head then we have neck so this is a neck of guitar and you can also call it as fretboard so this is a neck or a fretboard then after this neck it's going to the body this part is known as body of guitar on the body we are having bridge so this is bridge and this is sound hole so the circle is basically sound hole from where the sound comes out right so bridge body sound hole neck or a fretboard then we have head and tuning keys these are the main parts then these wires are known as strings strings of guitar okay so these wires are strings got it uh so basically again i'm repeating head tuning keys nut fretboard or a neck body bridge sound hole strings clear okay let's move further now so like we ha uh, we are having some partitions on the neck or a fretboard so this is like this is the first partition this is the second partition third partition fourth partition fifth partition so we have some partitions on the fretboard right so these partitions are known as frets f r e t s fret so this is my like first fret second fret third fret fourth fret fifth fret so these partitions are the frets not these bar lines these gaps are the frets so first fret second fret third fret fourth fret and we have some dots your guitar is having some dots on the fretboard so what are these dots basically 
so these dots are for calculations of the fret basically to keep in mind like so you can remind the fret numbers so if i ask you to play the ninth fret then what will happen you have to count like one two three four five six seven eight nine this is the ninth fret right but if i tell you about the dots so these dots are the odd numbers how see first odd number is one there is no need of dot on first fret we already know this is the first one right then the odd number is three five seven nine right so we have a dot on one one dot one is the odd number that's why we have single single dot so three five seven nine single dot on these frets now we have a double dot two on the twelfth fret right so double dot on the twelfth fret why because twelve is very important number in music in few minutes i'll tell you why so 12 is very important note in music that's why we have double dot on the fret 12 and if this is 12 there is no need to put a dot on 11 and 13 because we already know this one is 11 this one is a 13 before 12 this is 11 after 12 this is 13 so 3 5 7 9 then double dot 12 then 11 13 we already know after 13 the odd number is 15 and 17 right so we again have the dots on 15 and 17 simple so Again, I'm re repeating three, five, seven, nine, double dot 12, then 15 and 17. These are the dots. Got it? Clear? So now if I ask you like to play the seventh fret, so what do you do? Like one, two, three. Okay. This is the seventh fret, like three, five, seven. If I ask you to play the 13th fret, you know, double dot is 12. Next is 13. If I ask you to play like third fret, first dot is three. If I ask you to play 15th fret, you know, this one is 15 after a double dot. So, got it? Like it's so easy now to count the frets, to remember the frets. Okay. So let's move further now. So how guitar is working basically. So when I'm playing any string that's causing a vibration and that vibration coming out from my sound hole, that resonance coming out from my sound hole, this is how my strings are working, my guitar is sounding. Each and every string is having a weight of around 7 to 10 kgs in it. So around 7 to 10 kgs of weight is there in each and every string. These are tied up so tightly that each and every string is having a weight of 7 to 10 kgs. Right? So like when I'm playing any string, it's causing a vibration that resonance coming out from my sound hole. We have six strings. That means around 40 to 60 kgs of weight on our bridge. So this bridge is having around 40 to 60 kg, kg of weight, like one person weight in it. So that's why one pro, pro tip for the beginners today is if you are very new to guitar, you don't know how to maintain your guitar. When you are not playing your guitar for a week, like you are not playing for five, six days or more than that for a week, two weeks, one month or more than that, then just lose your tuning keys. So lose your tuning keys, then leave it. Otherwise, what will happen? There will be a gap between a bridge and a, uh, and a body like at this place or there will be a gap between your neck and the body at this place right so to maintain your guitar to make the life longer of your guitar you can do this thing like just untune your guitar lose the strings because when you are losing the tuning keys the weight is get, getting reduced on the bridge so you have to lose the tuning keys and then leave your guitar if you are playing in alternate days if you are playing in every two days or daily then there is no need to untune that's fine but if you are not playing for so long like four five days and more than that then just untune okay so now let's move further so next thing uh, i want to ask is there are like some uh, names of the strings right so a lot of you are having good names everyone is having a good names same as we also I play every day so there is no need to untune the guitar so same as we are having a good names of strings we count the string names from the bottom to the top like bottom one then the top one so from the thinnest to the thickest that's the reason we are counting from the bottom to the top so thinnest and the thickest so if you see your string the bottom one is the thinnest string and the top one is the thickest string right so this is the string one two three four five six pay attention now everyone after this we'll play one game i'll ask you to play one game okay so just learn the string names very properly then we'll play fastest finger first okay so what do you have to learn now see string one the name is e high e high h i g h high b g d a and e bass b a double s bass Right, so E high, 
B, G, D, A, and E base. These are the names of the strings. Again, I'm repeating. First one is E high. Second is B. Then G. Third is G. Fourth is D. Fifth is A. And sixth is E base. So we have two E strings. First one is also E. Sixth one is also E. But first one is E high. It's sounding bit high. It's E high. And sixth one is E bass. It's sounding in bass. B A double S bass. Bass in music, not B A C bass. So B A double S. It's sounding in bass. So that's why it's E bass. Okay. So there is one very popular formula that you can keep in mind. Maybe a lot of you already know. Like every beautiful girl deserves an I. So you can keep this formula. Yes. So you can keep this formula in mind. Just don't say it anywhere. Just you have to calculate this formula in mind, and you can just answer the string names. So every E. Beautiful B, girl G deserves D and A I E. Learned? All of you are ready to play the game. Okay. So game is you have to use your chat box. I'll give you one question. I'll give you three questions. I'll give you the string number. You have to write down the correct string name. And it's the fastest finger first. So I'll be watching who is commenting first. Okay. So everyone ready with the chat box? All of you ready? Let's play. Welcome to KBC. Fastest finger first. Your question number one is string number four. <laughs> okay. So yes, 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 yes. Who is the first one to give the correct answer? Saurav is the first one. Saurav Thakur is the first one to give the correct answer. Well done. Okay. Be ready. Next question is coming up. Question number two is string number six. Okay, so Soha is the first one to give the correct answer. Why? Because she has written E, uh, like E base. Everyone is writing, writing just E, E, E. I already told you, like, if I'm asking sixth or the first one, you have to tell me, is it a base or a high? If you're writing just E, then how do I know you are talking about the first one or the sixth one? Right? So, so is the first one. Well done. Last, last one. Ready? String number two. Okay, one one is the first one. Well done, great job. So one is the first one to answer this question. Well done, played very well. So now everyone knows the string names, right? So E B G D A E. First one is E high, and top one is E base. Those who are writing B A S E base, it's not B A S E base. It B A double S base. B A double S. Okay. So that's a base in music. Like in music systems, we are having bass, treble, volume. So it's that base. Okay, let's move further. So now I want to ask you guys, like there are some music notes. Kitne swar hote hain? Just write down in the chat box. How many swaras are there? How many music notes are there? Everyone. Okay, seven, eight, eight. In total, how many notes are there? I'm asking in total. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of answers. Seven, eight, twelve. Seven plus one. Okay, eight. Eight, twelve, seven, twelve. Okay, so I got three answers: seven, eight, and twelve. Anything else <laughs> from these? Anyone having any other answer? Okay, so we have three answers: seven, eight, and twelve. I'll answer one by one. So seven, those who are saying seven, that is partially right. How? See, uh, we have. I can understand you are counting sa, re, ga, ma, pa, dha, ni. These are the seven notes, right? So you are partially right. Those who are saying eight. Perfectly wrong. Why? Because you are counting sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa again. Why you are counting sa again? You have already counted sa at the first place. You are counting sa again. So we don't need to count sa again. So it's sa re ga ma pa dha ni. That's all seven. Now those who are saying twelve, that it that is perfectly correct. So why? Because in total we are having twelve notes. So seven root notes are there and five accidental notes are there. All right. So in total, we are having twelve notes. So a lot of you are thinking like, what these new new terms are? They are root, accidentals, major, minor, chord, scales. So don't worry about that. From the next class, I'll be telling you each and every term in very depth. Like what is a scale? What is a note? What is major? What is minor? What what is sharp? What is accidental? What is root? For now, you can just write like in total twelve music notes, and those are categorized into two categories. One is root notes that are seven. Seven root notes and five accidental notes. 
right so five accidental notes why we are calling it accidental notes because those five can be a sharp also those five can be a flat also so a lot of people say like we have seven root notes and five sharp notes no we also have flat notes so why we are calling it accidentals five accidentals are there those can be sharp and those can be flat like some of you are having two two names one you use in your school and colleges one you use at your home so same thing those five notes are having two names one in sharps one in flats right so in 12 in total 12 notes seven root notes sare gama pa dani you can say and five accidental notes those can be sharp also those can be flat also got it clear till here any doubt anything accidentals are comal ones no accidentals are having everything sharps and flat everything comal and teev everything okay so uh, we'll relate it to indian classical afterwards for now like i can tell you so notes in uh, indian classical is sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa in western classical we sing it as do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do so maybe this is something new for you guys so in western classical the notes are different the language is different the everything the like uh, thing is same like we are sounding same but the language is different that is in hindi that is in english so in, in hindi it's sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa in western classical do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do so these are like western classical notes when we learn like western vocals or anything like in western classical so these are western classical notes don't worry i'll i'll tell you everything slowly and gradually as i told you everything i can't teach whole guitar within just half an hour one hour time we need some time yes we need just two three months and we'll complete everything so let's move further that's why now the, you got the answer why 12 is important for it because we have 12 music notes in uh in total so that's why 12 is very important number so if the first string is e then 12th fret is also e just one octave higher so on all the strings if second string is b so all the 12th frets are same as the string name so 12th fret is this is e this is b g d a and e right so don't worry i'll tell you in depth afterwards so for now everything is clear the just basic foundation now we have three levels that's the fine someone is asking something just write down in the chat box okay so now we have three levels the final three stages to master the guitar what are those three stages how to learn that and uh, i can be just keep yourself on mute yeah so those three stages are stage number 1 level 1 is scales now what is scales for some of you like this is a new term scales so scales is nothing just the sagam that i have sing just now that is a scale so if i play that scale on guitar is so now i am playing that scale that that uh, i was singing on the guitar now so this is a scale now some of you are think like why scales are important why we are learning the basics there is one fact if i teach you the songs then there are lakhs and crores of songs agree so every day new songs are coming up and if i'm teaching you the songs then you have to learn for the lifetime that means you have to pay the fees for the lifetime and teacher is very happy let's uh, take the student for the lifetime okay i'll be teaching just one or two songs every in every month right that's the fact i'm talking about the fact like every day new songs are coming and if you are learning the songs from your teacher and still if you are learning the songs from your teacher then i must say stop learning songs if you are learning from any anywhere if you are learning from any academy or from any teacher stop learning songs just ask your teacher to teach you the basics otherwise you have to sit with your teacher for the lifetime to learn the songs because every day new songs are coming and every day our mind is changing okay now this is my favorite song when new new song is coming okay now this is my favorite song so every day your favorite song is changing right so if you are learning the songs every day you have to learn lifetime you have to learn but my thing is i don't teach songs i teach the basics first i teach how guitar is working so if you know how guitar is working if you just invest one two months time in it if you learn the basics of guitar then just after two three months you can just i say my student okay now play this new song and he or she can easily play 
because he knows how guitar is working what are the chords what are the scales how to form the chord progression what are the chords used in the in the song so whenever new song is coming up i give the assignment okay now find out the chord of this song in front of me live so students are doing that why because they know the basic like how to find out the scale how to find out the time signature what will the strumming pattern then what will be the chord progression so they are doing that thing right that's why if you are learning songs just stop learning songs go to some basics the thing is like if we are learning any language if i'm not teaching you alphabets i'm teaching you okay just uh, learn this speech so you can just speak that speech you can't communicate in that language so there is a language of everything there is a abc of everything so you have to learn the abc of the whole instrument then you can play anything okay so to complete that language part you are saying okay sir has told the solution but now how to work on that so three steps three stages are there number one in which in next one two months we'll be learning the scales so now two terms i'm giving you two more new terms i can understand it's very hard for the beginners oh again and again new new terms are coming up but just for now you can just keep it in mind from the next class i'll be explaining everything so major and the minor two tonalities are there two major like you, you can say two main tonalities so one is major one is minor so we have 12 notes you already know so 12 majors and 12 minors so we have 24 scales for now for the basics we have to complete 24 scales so 12 majors and 12 minors so like i can play the scale anywhere on the guitar like from here or from here or from anywhere else like or anywhere on the fretboard right so these are the basically scales so we have to learn 24 scales 12 major scales and 12 minor scales so we have 12 music notes so we have 12 majors 12 minors level 2 stage 2 of learning guitar is chords now from that scales why scales are important to learn now a lot of you have learned i i have seen two three people those who are who, who are saying like they have learned my one question from you all just beginners just enjoy the session now let's see how how your classmates those who have learned how they have learned okay so those who have learned now just tell me what chord is this right on the chat box i know you all know this chord i have asked easiest chord <laughs> yes see everyone knows e minor i am playing e minor c okay cool e minor and what chord is this not d minor d major yes it's d major okay and what is this come on come on no not yes a minor got it clear so you know these chords right now listen to my question why this is e minor now my question is why this is e minor now who can answer those who have written e minor okay who have written e minor so ashwin vk uh, soha chahat so varun all of you have answered like uh, why uh, this is e minor but i'm asking now why this is e minor you have to answer this question you have learned previously you know this is e minor but i'm asking you why this is e minor here the basics comes in like why you never ask someone you never ask your teacher like why this is e minor you are just holding two notes and this is e minor and a lot of people say sir this is having two notes that's why it's e minor then why this is a minor this is having three notes that's why <laughs> and if this is a minor then why this is d major it's also having three notes we are holding three uh, three fingers like why this is d major then so that's the thing i want to tell you that there is a logic behind everything right so it's not just a name we are not just giving a name we are calling 12 music notes we are having 12 majors 12 minors so there's a logic in everything like how chords are forming so i'll tell you like step by step how to for form the chord then after some time even you don't know like how to play uh, b7 b dominant 7 or b b suspended b sus4 any chord any difficult chord like that you can form by yourself you can just take a pencil and draw a chord chart by yourself without taking a help of google youtube or even me you don't need any help because you need because you know okay sir told me like chord is formed like this so i can form any chord by my own and a lot of people uh, face the difficulty in learning chords like i have to learn this is e minor this is a minor this is d major a lot of chords are there thousands of chords chords are there how we learn i say there is no need of learning 
if you understand the pattern if you know like how to how chords are forming then if you understand the thing then there is no need to learn i have never learned the chords because my teacher told me to understand the things and i never learned anything right so if you understand the concept like how chords are forming how chords are formed then there is no need to learn you can form any chord you can play any chord and that's why level 1 scales is important to form the chords so if i play 1 3 and 5 note of c major scale it gives me c major chord that's the logic behind it so i'll tell you in the depth further like how chords are formed how we are forming the chords but for now like i have played c major scale i'm playing first fret fifth note of the scale and that's giving me the c major chord right so level 2 is chords in which you have to learn the major chords minor chords all the chords so we'll be completing again 12 majors 12 minors 24 chords in the level 2 final level the last step of today's class the final level that we are going to learn is chord progression and the strumming pattern so that is a stage 3 level 3 chord progression and the strumming pattern now what is a chord progression when we join some chord like first chord second chord third chord again the first chord so i'm making a pattern of chords along with the strumming pattern from the right hand and after completing these three levels how it sounds okay everyone listen to the bollywood and hollywood here so i'll give one short example so much guys i can see my chat box flooding with messages okay so this is one short overview like how you can play after just one or two months of practice of learning basics so you can play any song i can guarantee you just after one or two months you can say any song like okay sir i want to play this i want to play this any hollywood any bollywood any tollywood any kind of song and you can play because you know the basics you know the chords you know the scales you know the progressions you know the chord family all the basics of it right also mm -hmm. i'll be teaching some new stuff like a lot of you have seen these things but never gone through that like we have one language known as music language staff notation like this so i'll be teaching you that also so you have seen these kinds of notes but you never know like what all things are these you think like this is these are the symbols of music or anything like tattoos we make tattoos of it but we don't know what is that right so i'll be teaching you this thing also like we'll be following proper international pattern for this like i'll be teaching you the western music theory staff notation so we'll be following the proper pattern of that any doubts anything you want to ask i know i'm very fast i'm going very fast today because 
I want to complete the whole overview of guitar, like how guitar is working so that it will be beneficial for you. You know, like how guitar is working and what all things we need to learn. But don't worry from the next class, like from the formal class we will do in proper way. I'll be sharing my screen. I'll be writing the things. I'll be providing you the sheets, PDFs, notes, everything. So, so that you'll be having everything you can practice along with that. Right. So if you are having any, any doubts, anything, then you can ask. And also we have one surprise for you guys. 